Hello YouTube and welcome to a special episode of Warframe Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Remakno. My in-game name is Father McFeely. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to complete this time trial attack on the Halloween Nightmares mode uh, with my favorite, Limbo Prime. We're going to be doing this solo. A little bit of information about this event. While in this game mode you do not have weapons, gear, operators, sentries, pets, etc. You are unable to use abilities. However, passive abilities are still effective. So, his ability to jump into Limbo will still be useful. Okay, now there is one exception to the gear rule, as you have to hack two consoles. Ciphers do still show up on the console list. Uh, oh, I apologize. Um, there are a few mods you do want to have to have. This is just me goofing around with it, just to see if it makes any improvement whatsoever. As I believe your health and your shields are capped out at 100, it doesn't matter about running this mod or this mod or these two either. Uh, really, it just goes down to 100. Or if you're running base, it's 50 50. Anyway, so what you're going to want. Okay, ignoring her. You're going to want Corrosive Projection, as I have confirmed, this still does affect the Jacko Knot. Uh, you're going to want to run Rush and Armored Agility for that extra 45% movement speed. Additionally, you'll want to run Maglev for that 30% slide uh, increase, as well as a minus 30% to friction. With this combination of mods, there is a little bit of a trick that if you tap the crouch button as you are sprinting, just simply tap it, you will get a momentary speed boost. This is good for picking up speed around corners. Uh, you want to move as quickly as possible. Alright, so we're going to start out. Uh, make sure you have some ciphers. here. Now, it says the reward is granted at 666. I do not know if you have to finish by that time or exactly at. So what I suggest is hit it right at. That means you have to cross the finish line at that point. Um, I haven't really taken the time to ask or check on that, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry. So starting out, jump into Limbo. As you can see, if I tap C, I'm picking up speed. As long as you are in Limbo, you don't really have to worry about the infested, so that's not really a problem here. We're coming up on the point here. So when you get to this point, you're going to want to go left immediately and come down here, hack I'm this console. You can hack the terminal. Uh, when you're doing this, I recommend using the ciphers instead. Then you go straight over here, there's another console. Go ahead and hack that one. You're going to come back to that in a second. Remember, you're going to follow the left wall to find these. So you run over here to the door. Make sure to jump out of Limbo so you can deposit that, run back in. Now you're going to follow the wall right to get back to this one. And just run past them. Once you're through here, you're going to follow the path straight to the boss. Now you're going to get to this section. Don't be tempted to jump down in that pit like everybody does. I've done it numerous times myself and had to really train myself out of it. Just follow the wall left. 
Okay, so again, I've done pretty good. I've made it to the boss by 900. Now, jump out of limbo, damage one of these, lure him into the pit of fire. You're going to want to run around him, maintaining limbo. He will occasionally, eventually charge out of it, or the ring of fire will fade. Oops, did not mean to jump in there. Okay, we're going to leave lure him here. charged out of that one, we're going to keep him in this ring of fire. Okay, now we're going to lure to him to this one. And do be careful, if you get too far away from him, he will use his poison attack, and that does still affect you in limbo. As you can see, we've already got him to about 50%. Gonna bring him back into this. There are some points where it's easy to keep him in the ring of fire, like right here, as all you really have to do is keep him facing a corner, like that. And he is almost dead, we're going to lure him up here. Oh, is he stuck now? I'm going to try and get him to... Oh, man, he is stuck. Well, this happens. Okay, thank God. Okay, he is about to drop dead. Goodbye. And just jump right up here. And straight to the extraction. Now you can try completing it before the 666 mark. As I said, I'm not sure if it completes before or after that point, so I went ahead and completed it at 666. So that was 4 minutes and 33 seconds solo. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you check out my other videos and keep posted for other updates in the future. I'm trying to get around to making as many of these videos as possible. However, I am a full-time worker and a full-time father of two going on three. So uh, it's a little bit difficult to find the time and I really don't like making videos with kids hollering in the background. <laughs> so keep posted. I'll try and get around to making some more, and I hope you have a happy holiday.